Let's see if there are any Japanese folklore experts watching this channel, or if you're all just phonies. Bet you haven't heard of this Japanese creature. She comes from Akita Prefecture, and her name is Agubanba, the Ash Crone. Sometimes, if you poke the ashes in a fireplace, Agubanba will appear. Long ago, there was a village that had a problem. Every year, Agubanba would abduct a beautiful young woman from the village to bring home for dinner. I mean, as dinner. No one could stop the scary old lady, so the abductions happened year after year, until one year, a girl turned 18. She had a face only a mother could hate, because she was so beautiful that it was bound to attract Agubanba's attention. The old hag had a gift for finding beautiful young women. The parents of the young lady tried to hide her in the house, kept her away from fireplaces and scary old people. But after one too many days of being deprived of fireplaces and senior citizens, the woman declared to her parents, Enough! I will stop, Agubanba! Hand me some mochi! and a stone. Her parents said, no, not the mochi and stone. She said, yes, the mochi and stone. Her parents tried to argue, but she couldn't hear them over her determination. With a lot of sweat and confusion, her parents made mochi, or rice cake. The young woman walked outside with some mochi, a stone, and a dream, which turned into a nightmare because there was Agubanba waiting beside the road. The crone was ugly. She had no eyes. She had a nose and a mouth, but her mouth was on the top of her head. The young woman said, maybe this wasn't such a good... Before Agubanba grabbed her and carried her to a broken down house. Instead of immediately eating her, Agubanba yelled, Boil my bath water! And the young woman did. Agubanba yelled, Light a fire! And the young woman did. But she also placed her stone in the fire. Agubanba yelled, Make me mochi! And Mochi Girl took out her mochi to cook it upon the fire. Smelling the delicious food, Agubanba opened the large mouth on top of her head and said, Feed me! And the young woman quickly took her rock from the flames and dropped it into Agubanba's mouth. Agubanba screamed, Hot, hot, hot! Ow, ow, ow! The old hag ran to the bathroom and jumped into the water to cool off. But the young woman had kept the water boiling instead of letting it cool. Agubanba screamed, Hot, hot, hot! Ow, ow, ow! And died. Good job, Mochi Girl. If you liked that story, there's a creature from Japanese folklore called Tofu Boy. Click here to learn about him. Big thanks to viewer Brendan Nicola for finding and translating this story. We have a new emperor on Patreon today, Muto-sama. You're amazing. We also got some regular patrons, bit different. Shelly Crawford, Kazuki Yaroshi, Balint Nadis, Dapper Cranium, Vampire, and Danielle. Alright, I love you and spread the knowledge.